At an Army Air Force base in Arizona, women mechanics learn to service the big bombers, receive expert instruction in every phase of aircraft maintenance. A plane named in their honor gets a thorough going over by the air wax, as they're called. From motor to tail assembly, the girls make ready the giant battleships of the air. 65,000 strong, they relieve men for combat duty. Today, the WAX are serving with the armed forces in every major theater of war. The first contingent to arrive in Australia gets a real welcome. Reporting for duty half a world away from home, these United States Army women are making a vital contribution to the cause of the United Nations. At a bomber plant in Seattle, workers write their names on a flying fortress, the 5,000th ship of its type turned out by this one plant since America entered the war. Many other plants are also building these ships. 5,000 since Pearl Harbor, a graphic indication of the vast bomber production of the United States. Already, this completely autographed ship is in action over Germany. Somewhere in England, Army Signal Corps cameramen await the order to go into action with General Eisenhower's forces of liberation. Aboard ship, Navy cameramen are stationed to photograph the part the fleet will play in the coming action. These are some of the men whose courage and daring make possible many of the thrilling films you see in United Newsreel. Some are on leave from their studios. Others are on active duty as members of the armed forces. All are ready to record the picture story of the war's greatest drama. In Washington, D.C., two American air races held a reunion with their families. Captain John Godfrey, shown here with mother and father, shot down 29 Nazi planes. Captain Don Gentili's score of 30 Nazi ships downed makes him the leading American ace of the European theater. Home for Captain Gentili is Pequa, Ohio. Population 20,000. Pequa is a typical small American city. A service flag hangs in the window for Don, and here is his welcome home. Sister Edith is so happy she can only hug her brother for joy. Mother Gentili, patriotic Americans of Italian ancestry, are justly proud of their son, for he wears the Distinguished Service Cross awarded him by General Eisenhower. Right now it's mother's turn, the most important welcome of all. From the air, the shattered town of Casino is little more than a name on a map after six months of savage battle for this key bastion on the road to Rome. Now Allied bombers strike deep behind Nazi lines, confusing the enemy's transport and foreshadowing a new Allied drive. North of Rome, bombs hit two important bridges. Allied barrage of the war precedes a dawn attack.
British motorized forces plunge forward in the final battle for Casino. With vital aid from French and Polish troops, they have encircled Casino, cutting it off from the main German armies. The whole Casino sector is spotted with bomb and shell craters testifying to the fury of the action in this embattled area. The first prisoners stream to the rear. Bowl-shaped helmets identify them as parachutists, so-called Green Devils, members of the German 1st Parachute Division. Along Italy's west coast, near Gaeta, where the bulk of the 5th Army has been suddenly shifted, a second phase of the campaign flares into action. Driving through Minturno, Santa Maria Infante, and Terminoli, U.S. infantry moves toward a junction with forces 60 miles away at Anzio. Castel Forte, between Casino and the sea, is captured by French units. In the most important action in which these men of fighting France have yet participated, they have made a brilliant record. These are Italian refugees, freed from Nazi-held areas. In their faces is graphically written the grim effects of fascist rule and years of war. American and Allied troops do what they can to aid them. Prisoners are taken by the thousands. More than 12,000 were captured in the first two weeks. Numbed and shocked by the fury of the Allied attack, they show plainly the strain of battle. These Nazis bear unmistakably the mark of utter defeat. the ancient Via Casalina, the surge of Allied power rolls north. Whether the Nazis retreat further or choose to stand and fight, the enemy has taken his worst defeat in the entire Italian campaign.